Welcome to part 65 of the White Hunts campaign for Total War Attila. Now, in the last part, all the action was in the west here, where we kind of kept the pressure on. We kind of now have the, well, the Western Romans are gone, the Picts have destroyed the Picts, and basically the Ostrogoths are now on the back foot. We've got a small force here, and then there's another navy or something tucked up about here but I'm going to be quite happy just to chase that now I've had a comment saying why why haven't I kind of really started to attack the, what the Eastern want? Romans yet and the reason I've done that is one is that once these forces start to move east along here these are very very big provinces so it's going to be very di it was, would have been very difficult to pull armies back to deal with the western romans so i really wanted to secure this kind of rear area first and what we're going to do is going to kind of get rid of these ostagoths i think i'm just going to go for auto resolve on this there's probably going to be a few more auto resolves Ready for action. That takes down this Ostrogothic army. And I think you can. And of course, we, we can now play to our strength of being immune to desert attrition. So we can keep moving this army moving forward. We can move that. Yeah, so I wanted to secure that. And because and what I actually want is a, a dual front attack so that the Eastern Romans have to split their forces. Now, there is a point around here, Synod Asia, and what I want to do is move for that Synod, that's Ephorus, but there's a mountain in the way. That's going to be a, a bit of a problem. I don't want to come up How this path. I think what we're going to do is move you up just across this border is there nothing else? here and you can encamp we're going to bring this army back up to here to encamp because we're going to move these forces in and of course we're going to just keep moving this army forward See what the garrison's like. Nicodema. It's got a reasonable sized garrison. Synod. Reasonable sized garrison. Because basically what I want to do is literally punch through this area. Reasonable garrison. That Quint in the air. Yep. So, because I basically want to, when I do attack, I want to take out these four settlements very in very very quick succession we've got this agent I think we're just going to bring you up this way I think that agent needs to be here I've got this army that's or this army here which is currently sat here which way this army goes will depend totally on the uh, how can you say the how the war actually goes up here we've got one army here whose job it's going to be to defend this flank so these two armies are basically going to be my defensive armies I'm sure I had a a priestess up here I lost a priestess in that last end turn again we're all getting a bit old no I'm sure I had a an agent which I wanted to send up this way. Or was that? Oh, maybe it's this one. Yes. Maybe we're we'll get you moving north. Yeah, sorry, a bit of delusion there, guys. And, and of course, we've got this army's now moved this way. And see if we can get. See how far we can move this army. Again, yeah, no, I actually. I think maybe 
we'll go the full distance with this one and then we will this army needs to refurbish so I think you can come up this way and encamp we got plenty of cash and I'm gonna be a bit more kind of conservative I want to build a war chest up you've got there so we could take that up but that will give us knockers and cataphracts um, I think we're going to take that up actually and I'm just going to have a quick run through the economic hordes how are you doing? I say we're going to be very very careful with the integrity I think we're we'll using goat herders purely and simply because the cash is going to be difficult. Now we've got wine distributor and oops, I don't want that. I want this. So we've already got a preserved food wine distributor. And this one, nomadic bartering grounds, actually consumes integrity. So certainly don't want that. Actually, can we see, um, see if we can actually drop a, another economic horde? about over here this is where my 50 gold and better so I could actually drop to raise an army here ready for battle and give you kind of a couple of forces here and then let's see what the fertility is like in this area not brilliant so what we could do is probably send this army back slowly at its own time and then that will add a bit more finance to the situation so we're going to go for an end turn warlord here drop you in there give you some rounded there fury of the steps certainly want to give you that think well you've got plenty of morale versus eastern empires well we can push you down this way or actually cancel that go with that and that actually don't really need that actually because you've got so much integrity I don't you don't know what to do anyway so uh, sacking income plus six percent morale when local region, integrity when camped, unit experience I think will come this way so when these guys get a bit more clout they will be able to gain unit experience and as I say I want these armies to kind of move oh, okay, so I was saying that one of the advantages of wiping out all these minor factions is we'll be able to get rid of all these stupid agent actions so that's another plus side yeah so hopefully we will be able to destroy the the Ostagoths and maybe even the Swaby the Swaby are knocking around somewhere being generally obnoxious oops I don't know what caused that a little bit of a jerk in that area I mean, it's a good chance the faction leader is going to die soon, so I'd certainly need to get the heir into some battles. Encourage mutiny, yeah, well. Hostile agent, like noble birth, noble birth. The great matter of state troop tribute. Uh, I'm going to accept the gift. Yes, the. The faction continues to grow. So while we're looking at this, we'll let you... You're not going to move very far, are you? Because I think you've been nobbled. Was it the fact that you're... If we get you up onto the road out of the desert, we'll let you keep building. And I think maybe if we... 
I think if we just move through the desert, keep away from those settlements on the coast there, we'll be able to move quicker. And we're just going to send that agent there. We get you ashore. So we can have a shifters at Macromedes. A reasonable garrison, but nothing. You're the. But Garamanthia is probably going to be the yeah. first target. We don't have any intelligence on them yet. And obviously. This, I think we can start sending you here. I think it's a waste of time. If the Ostagoths want to come uh, ashore and attack us, I don't think it's going to be a problem because basically all their hordes, if they are hordes or navies, they are trash. Just to see where we can find the Ostagoths. You're still lurking in here and it says you're a horde. So you should be here. There we are. There is more I could do. Tiny little horde here. I don't even have a general. And I'm going to keep moving you north. The reason I'm keeping moving you north is that up here is the Danes. And I'm, well, I'm not actually going to go up and attack them. But if they come close, I will swipe them. And now we've got this army here. I think this How can I help? horde need to kind of come back here Sword of my people. and encamp. Now, do we attack? Is it is it the right time to attack? The how big's the garrison in? Fairly big. You've got a. And let's just see where Why these guys can move. How can I help? You can't uh, you can't really move down to there, yeah, but you've got the heavy onagers. I think Why what we're gonna do is move you forward to work then. To see they don't really have any armies this in this area. So you're Ready encamped, I think let's go for it. And I think we're going to declare war on the Eastern Romans war. and we're going to send you up against Nicodemia and you can just insert for the moment and we're going to send which army is this one? Warriors all. this army against None will escape. We take this yeah well settlement I think we're just ground. going to auto resolve this one It's going to be a bit of a nice sack Come, sit. and Share raise. Besieging settlement. Ready for action. Maybe we're. I'm just going to go for a double, just so that we can move this campaign forward. I'm just not that I'm getting totally bored with this. I think Your I kind of got a little bit bogged down in the previous couple of parts chasing those armies down and I think it's time to kind of get a bit of momentum about the sack and a raise here. What the You've now? got movement points so I think Come, sit. I'm going to let you power. raise it and Ready for action. we've got plenty of cash I think we'll just let you know you didn't take that much in the way of casualties, you're okay. You're kind of moving back on your own. You've now got a little bit of... I think... Storytellers, you're at... You know, go with Nobleman's Camp and some great herders in there. Let's just see where the Swaby are. Swaby, it says the Swaby are all, right, all the way down there, but I'm pretty sure there's a, a force kind of lurking around. And you've got a footman's camp, but you don't have enough food. How's your integrity? Pretty crappy. Excuse my language. 
Um, I think I'll go for a felt maker. Yep, yeah, you don't have a lot of integrity, but I think it won't be long before that's up and we can actually let's go this way first. Let's go for a warm yurt here. Hang on to the rest of the cash so that we've got a war chest and gonna go for an end turn. So we got the warlord here. Let's see what we can get for here. Salt sabotage action, military LA army, hostile. What do we get for cunning? Agent action, I will just go with that. Um, get you here. And of course, we're gonna get you some integrity when in camp. Missile attack rate plus 10. That's why you've got so much integrity. Well, that, a lot of that comes from the attacks we just had. Consult your ancestors, but you and will the see the merit in the offer I bring well, from yep, my Well, if you want to marry her, I'm happy with that. I think if we can take out Iconium and the four settlements there, and then we can kind of consolidate all oh, this stupid obstacleic. Oh well, that end turn contained a lot of East, both East Roman and West Roman attacks. I don't know if you can. Can you get? I don't think you can get into that settlement there. I think what we can do is bring you up. Come here. And I think you can come into this one again. And I'm just gonna. Start with the king. Can you, yep, the you can encamp so you can raise. For the gods. And and I think what we can do is bring this army up. So you're within striking distance of. Sorry, my voice is breaking a little bit, guys. And. I think we're gonna the shadows are friends. bring you across here. I think what the strategy is, I think what we're gonna do is, I left these guys there, but I think what we might do is come in, kind of take Cilia, destroy Syria, and then go up this way. And then at the same time, the armies coming in from this side will kind of smack at We'll bring you in here. I don't know if we can get any intelligence on here. Nice big army here. What's the year of siege army? I think we're just gonna get you in here. And this army, I am. Gonna try and get you. <gasps> Why can't you move? Uh, gonna I will feed the earth with blood. I may have failed, but I'm not a failure. I'm going, I'm Why going. Why can't this guy move? Okay, we're just gonna have to let this guy move as far as possible. Ready for action. Maybe we're just gonna have to come in here and we'll have to fight it. Yep, I'm gonna fight this one purely and simply just to minimize the casualties. Decimus Panzer. Of course, it's a fortified city, so they've got three sets of Sagittarii. I mean, I think if we give them a good pounding, 
when we first arrive we should be okay but I think we need to keep the Eastern Romans spinning a bit now if we're going to well get the campaign finished and win it so nice and dry so we're going to start the deployment this is a nice quite a heavyweight city I think They've kind of got an entrance there. We can't really come in the back. Um, part of me says let's attack from this front because they seem don't seem to have that many towers. So this is where we're going to attack from. And we're just going to. Put these guys up here. I'm going to put the general well back because there's a good chance that we will have. Um, gonna put the heavy on a girl. You want flaming shot. You want flaming shot. I'm going to put you guys over there and put you on heavy shot. I want you hitting that. And you smashing the front door. There's Sea Jonagas over there. So, but we're a bit of a fiddle because we, the AI places the. Look at that. All that, all those shots, and it missed every single one. Just going to speed this up a bit so that because of this initial siege attack will we have sighted the enemy. Yes, I'm very much aware of the walls that. Are destroyed. The defenses are no more. The okay. enemy settlement burned. You hit that, the gates are destroyed. And I think you can smash your way through the wall there. You had phenomenal accuracy just now. Why well, I suddenly? Oops, they're gone. The and enemy's tower has uh, been destroyed. I think we'll do hit. You can hit there. You can hit there. I think you guys can now kind of come forward a bit. That's one more hit and then maybe it will then we'll fire into the city and kind of, yep they're down we have destroyed their defenses and I think what we're gonna do now is burn them up a little bit and see if we can get you in now ready. and you guys can basically Start to shoot these guys up. City's burning really nicely now. And I think you guys can move forward. Axes, move forward. One of you guys can have a flaming shot and a whistling shot on each one of these units. Break these guys up. Sorry this is going to be a little bit of a... Obviously their archers are somewhere else. So, yeah, they've got minus two morale already. So, I think you guys can move in a bit closer. So, you can focus on these. And I think you guys can now start to breach the walls. up on these guys put 
what you want. Heavy shot, precision. Kind of shot these guys off the walls now. Take you off fire at will and pull you back. I want you guys first through the gates. I want you all off and I want you all back this way. guys can start to force the entrances now. We'll bring the cavalry up. Just work. I'm gonna put the flaming shot in to have a fear tactic. I think it's time for the Cavalry to get in to Come on guys. Yeah. How are we doing in here? Yep. I think this cavalry is probably we have gained the upper killing hand. enough of my troops. I want you guys in. After these archers, and you guys can now get inside so you've got proper clear view. One of you camel raiders, away you go. I think you guys can now sure why these guys are actually don't think they oh. okay camel raiders back obviously there's some archers on the other side there who are going to cause trouble in camel raiders um, yep. camel raiders after them come on come on you crappy pathfinding um, just gonna bring you guys this way just keep pushing through I don't need these horse archers anymore they can come back through these camel raiders are going down really really quickly these got two double towers here that's a bit of a cheat that's some kind of gate system oh that's cool get you get you up here rest of you and come on this way through the gate up here and we're just going to go straight for the It says these fire, but I don't know how they can fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, pull back, pull back. I don't want you. In fact, I think one of you can go through that way. You guys can come in this way. You can come in this way. I think it's a foregone conclusion and we're burning the 
<laughs> settlement. The Hunnic Warriors. Obviously, one of our units here must have a, a raider capability, these auxiliary Palatina, but I think these guys are going down very, very quickly. Got minus three morale. Come on. Yeah. Just going to speed this up a little bit so they can get in here. And that. Oh, crap. Oh, that's the end of the battle. This is your day. And we lost a hundred. That's that's a good result. We I'm sure we'd have lost more if we'd gone for the auto resolve. That was a very very good result. And we've now and of course we're going to sack it because we want the cash. Were the Huns? That's what the Huns do. In fact, that's what they do. Really. And. I don't understand why this guy can't move, probably because of all those stupid little agents there. We've got plenty of cash to spend. So let's see if we can invest a little bit. And you, you keep kind of moving north. I think that's about as far north as I want you to go. Yeah, you're doing great. Us wave lancers, Hunnic ambushers, UR archers, how's the all antiquity? Not brilliant, I think. That's gonna take I think No, I think we're gonna leave that for the moment. You're okay, you're you're just hanging in there. Uni guard, socket and camel radius, I don't think you need that. You could come up. Sonic Spears. Maybe we'll, we'll give you that just as a a support. You've got Royal York Builders. You've got a Cloth Maker. You've got a wide distributor and preserve food. How are you for? You've got a little bit. So. And you've got loads of food. So. What will this give us? Another? Uh, maybe we're, we're, we'll go for fairgrounds. Just uh, things going along nicely. Just feel this agent having this agent here is a bit of a waste. So I think we're gonna get you out in the water and go for an end turn. I think one more turn and then that would be it for this part, guys. But so considering how few the... Right, we're going to have to go through the family tree and see what we've got here. I think... This army... Just needs to encamp, I think, for the moment. Because it doesn't seem to be able to move some reason. Oh, we can move. I think what we will do is we'll move a little bit away from Tend the city, but not Your so far that we're going to get into trouble. Silently. And we're going to keep this agent moving down here. And I think Not you can come down this way and Ready for encamp and hopefully this guy will be able to move as well I think we'll move you up into here just in case there's any contention and we're going to go for a, see if we can get rid of these Blumen agents, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
obviously it's decided it doesn't want to tell me over here we've got this force that can come in and this force that can come in on Iconium and I think you guys can just and we're going to sack that for a bit more cash and who's in the better condition I think you probably are so we're going to let you raise it and we're going to push this agent forward once it's finished burning Come. we're going to push the agent forward that agent forward and what I want to do you can't um, yeah, I think we'll get you forward get to moving. here. And I've obviously pressed the space bar because all the animations are going a lot quicker than... Because it goes without saying that I'm not going to be able to... Oh crap. So we're not going to get across that river so you're going to have to come up. this way. This guy's got a bit of oomph. So we're now kind of pushing down here and kind of, I think maybe we will curve up this way, take out these two top settlements, the top two settlements I never destroyed earlier in the campaign, and then we'll come back down again against Antioch. If you look at it here, if I knock this off, they may come back up again. I think if I sweep up here, oh look at that, you can see here. I was excited that, and they're actually under attack from the Kafungrians. That's good. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to come up and help these guys. And actually we might be able to, no, I won't curve over and take the there and take that out. And then we're going to come back and down here we're going to keep the momentum going. And these guys are just quite happily hiding out here, kind of deciding what they're going to be doing. Uh, let's just check where the Danes are. They're kind of creeping over that way. So maybe I will get my agent that way, just in case these guys... And I think we're going to move you back to here. Maybe a smidge further. Just in case the Danes think they're going to come through here and launch a sneak attack. I've got plenty of cash so actually I think what I'm going to do is recruit some of these. I don't often get a chance to recruit some of these guys and I think what we'll do is get rid of one of these and ooh crossbowmen very very tempted but I think what we'll do is we'll get some axe warriors in here because this is a bit of a hodgepodge army so I think yeah, yeah, nice and cheap. So we'll get one of these, we'll get a couple of these noble Kartsi raiders. I think what I will do is pull this army in a lot closer. Get moving. Your next and commands. Let you encamp. And How can I help? Maybe Warriors all. You're still hanging around here. I think we're kind of keep you in Vienna but move you down this way a bit and you can stay there. I think these armies are, again this army, I, I'm still just inclined to leave this army here just in, just in case these, these guys want to come over and we've got plenty of cash to spend. So. Ready for battle. Yeah. Press wave lancers. Kangalus Kanda spears. That's don't really have the food for it. You've got loads of food. Carpenter's workshop. It's not really gonna give me much that's only gonna give me another fifty cash. 
that's going to give me a little bit more cash but I'm not I suppose I could do with the perking the cash up a little bit how's the integrity here my negative integrity I think can't reduplicate the I think what we're going to do is put an Elder's Yurts in there maybe that might help because we can because we've only got that we can go the way of the treasurer that might be an option that might help fix some of the integrity issues we've got with these armies forgotten all about that guys apologies and you've got a wine distributor yeah but you've got plenty of and you've got cattle pens how's your integrity good yeah looking good and of course we've got our little horde over here which I think I'm gonna just keep moving back on their own little recognizance as I say if they get killed they get killed uh, there's nothing I can do about it and at the end of the day it's of no great importance so, so I shouldn't talk like that but that's the reality and you can't encamp you can't encamp and I'm just coming up to the 45 minutes guys this is where I'm going to leave it hope you've enjoyed the episode we're now really starting to push on the Eastern Romans I can honestly say now we're on the downhill slope of of our assault against the when it'd be nice to know what the strength of this settlement would be to decide on what armies but I think I can send all these armies up that might confuse the Eastern Romans they might know might, might not know where we've gone and then we can kind of come back and we can keep the real pressure going on here I don't think you can, can you can move a, a little bit further Treading forward you can move this side Indians. just to see if there's any armies sneaking up this way and I mean I think if we can punch into Egypt uh, Egypt's kind of nice and fertile so if any of these armies are getting close to yeah, you've got it. You could probably drop another economic horde in Egypt once we get there. But this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.